Welcome to Rhema Melbourne Online Church. We are so excited that you've joined with us today. You can watch all of our services on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page. Make sure that you like our page and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep updated with all the events happening in the church. Our Doncaster services have just started up again every Sunday at 10 a.m. We have a new location at the Beaumont International. We hope to see you in person very soon. If you need any help or prayer support, you can contact the church on the number below or you can go to our website at ramafamilychurch.org.au. Every Thursday night at 7.30pm, we have our Eagles prayer meeting. These meetings are powerful spirit-led prayer meetings. You can join on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, good evening, everyone. Ooh, just before we, we started this program tonight we're singing from glory to glory he's changing us and you know that's the purpose and the plan of God that we are going from glory to glory we're going from strength to strength we're going from victory to victory and that should be our expectation every day from glory to glory he's changing us Oh, Father, we want you to change us. We want to be a greater reflection of you in the earth. Oh, Father, we thank you. We praise you for tonight and we honor you. I'm so glad that you're with us tonight. You know, I've been thinking of that scripture and numbers and praying it over you all as we come together tonight. That member in Numbers 6, and the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron and his sons, This is the way you shall bless the people. Say to them, The Lord bless you and watch you and guard you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon and enlighten you. Be gracious and kind and merciful and give him favor to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart and life continually. And I like what it says in verse 27, and they shall put my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. Will we carry the name of Jesus? Glory be to God, the name that's above every other name, a name that's above cancer, a name that's above disease and viruses. Glory to God. He's given us that name. And you know, I want to remind you tonight that if we're born again believers, we are temples of the living God. And so us as temples tonight, we're making all our adjustments. We're getting right. We're getting comfortable. We're getting ready to receive the word, the fuel for our prayer tonight. You know, the word of God is the fuel. Because it's the word that God confirms, not you or me. It's his word that he confirms with signs following. So I wanted to start. I picked up all my prayer quotes and I was looking at them. And I thought I'm going to speak a few of them tonight to you. Remember I shared with you that Andrew Murray said, prayer is the pulse of our life. 
glory to God. And he said, the enemy will use all his power to lead a Christian or a minister to neglect prayer. E.M. Bounds says we need prayerful people and we must have them. He said, we need a new, intense, radical commitment to prayer. George Whitfield was it's called for people to join in United Prayer Meeting. Wigglesworth said, prayer links us to a lovely God, to our abounding God, to our multiplying God. And of course, one that you've heard me use quite regularly from Spurgeon, when he was asked, what is the secret of your success? He said, knee work, knee work, knee work. You know, having the presence of God. Seeking first, the Bible says, the kingdom of God. Seeking first the kingdom and his ways of doing things. He said, then all things will be added to us. Father, our heart tonight as we come together is to seek you. The very desire of our hearts is that your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. That your, uh, your will will be fulfilled in nations, in people's lives, Father, in Jesus' name, as it is in heaven. That our lives, even as we come together, become a living advertisement of heaven in the earth. And we ask you tonight, Father, as we come to your word, we ask you for our daily bread. We thank you for the bread, Father, that your word is heavenly bread and that it feeds us, it nourishes us, it stirs up faith within us in Jesus' name. So we commit ourselves afresh to you tonight. We thank you for guiding us guarding us and leading us, Holy Spirit, leading us so that we work with you tonight in prayer so that the Father's will is processed in the earth as it is in heaven to his glory, to his praise, to his honor in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, I was trying to find my book and recommend it to you tonight. And it's called Practicing the Presence of God. And it came to my heart to, to share that with you, you know, and practicing his presence, getting, having time every day in his presence. And, you know, I've been praying a lot in the spirit over the last few days because I really feel that the Lord has got something so important that he wants to do in the earth, that he wants to do in and through our lives, in and through our churches and in and through our families. And it's so important that everything starts lining up with his will. Glory be to God. Well, let's go to the fuel right now. Let's go to the word. You know, the Bible says that we're to be nourished up on words of faith and good doctrine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 12, it says this, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. I want you to know that right now. His eyes are on you. In fact, the scripture says he's mindful of us. So his focus is on us right now. And it says his ears are open to our prayers. I believe that because Psalm 91 says when we call on him, he answers us. You need to have that assurance and that confidence in your heart. In the Passion Bible, it says, For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh rest upon the godly, and his heart responds to their prayers. Hallelujah. The Message Bible says God looks on all with approval, listening and responding to what is being asked. Glory be to God. And remember, you know, Pastor has been talking about that on a Sunday, being steadfast. But also remember, whatever we do has to be done in faith. Whether you're praying in tongues, you do it by faith. And we believe that we receive whatever it is, Father, that we've prayed out in faith. We prayed out. We believe we receive 
receive the answers through the praying in the spirit. And we believe that as we reach out to you, we receive our answers in prayers. You know, Mark chapter 9 and verse 23, Jesus said this, if you can believe, all things are possible to the one that believes. Glory be to God. So we must believe that as we begin to pray out the word of God, that we're going to see miracles turn around, signs and wonders in Jesus' name. And our faith needs to be set for that. You know, we're not here just to pass by some time. We're here doing business, business with the Spirit of God in the earth so that God's will will be fulfilled. I'm going to give you a, a few scripture references you can just jot down and then I'll just speak out the scripture. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Colossians 4 and verse 2 and Ephesians 6 and verse 18. If we put them all together, it says pray without ceasing, continue in prayer, watch in prayer and always pray. You know, it's important that we're watching. We're listening and we're watching all the time what God is saying to us so we can pick up in the spirit with the Holy Ghost. You know, your prayer life and my prayer life is really two-sided. And what does that mean? Well, it means in prayer we fight the good fight of faith. And yet at the same time, we rest in God, trust in him to accomplish his word that we've prayed out. And then as we're in that word, we're coming to a place of confidence in prayer. You know, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to the book, according to the word, that he hears us. And because we know that he hears us, because he's already said his ears are open to us, because we know that, we know that we have the petition that we've made to him. You know, James 5.16 says the effectual, fervent prayer of a man who knows his righteousness makes tremendous power available. That power that he makes available, it says, avails much. In the Passion Bible, it says tremendous power is released through the passionate, heartfelt prayer of a godly believer. And you have to know that. You have to have that expectation, that power, dynamic power is being made available when you yield yourself to prayer. Our prayer life, church, is really powerful. And that's why, it, you know, when you give yourself to prayer, it, it, it enters into situations. It enters into circumstances and, and it begins to usher in through the word of God, through the anointing of God, the changes, the changes. It makes what's crooked straight. It, it opens as you pray for people. It gives them the opportunity to receive revelation and illumination in their life and change. Church, you need to understand because of the power your prayer release, that's why the enemy will do everything he can to disturb your prayer time. He'll do everything he can to even stop you praying, not just to disturb your prayer. But so the Bible says in Ephesians, you can't be ignorant of his devices. He'll try to distract you, dishearten you. He'll try to get you to pull back or to give up entirely. Like, what's the point? Well, the point is that we want to distract the devil off people's lives. We want to get him to pull back from people's lives and he's not going to stop us. You have to make that decision that you're as, as committed, that you're as purposeful in seeing a, a circumstance, a situation, a person's life, a nation turn around as he is to keep it in confusion, to keep people in, in health. No, we're coming against those plans in the name of Jesus. And listen, we don't come at it with our own power, our own might. We don't come at it with our own 
own name. We come in the name of Jesus. We come in the authority of that name. And Jesus said, I've given you authority that what you bind in this earth is bound in the name of Jesus. And you need to know that, that when you exercise that authority, you're binding the powers of darkness. Glory be to God. When you call on the name of Jesus, that something is happening. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Isn't that exciting? Now, that's why he, he'll try to, to get things around your life to confuse you, dishearten you, distract you from praying. And you have to make a note of that. What is he trying to do? He's trying to stop the power of God going forth and bringing change into areas. You know, I was reading in Acts chapter 3 and verse 4 when Peter and John ministered to a lame man and he was healed. Right away, they received opposition. Right away, the authorities came against him. And you see, even when you face a faith success, the enemy is going to try and come at you because he doesn't want you to have another one. And he doesn't want you to be able to go out and share about it and encourage other people into the word of God, into their faith success, amen. So you have to, to recognize that as soon as they prayed for that man and he was healed, there was opposition that came against him. But look at what the disciples and the believers did. They didn't scatter, they gathered together to pray. In other words, devil you might have shot your best shot but we're still standing and we're still coming against you in Jesus name amen in Acts 4 31 let's go there and read it glory to God you know the Bible tells you do not be ignorant of his devices he'll shoot some shots at you but get up and shoot one back at him amen amen glory to God or put your shield of faith up and quench every fiery dart that he sh shoots at your way. Come, if it's that way, that way, or that way, you put up the shield of faith. You come back with the word of God against the works of darkness, amen? And be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and, and let him know he's not going to stop you. He's not going to hinder you in the name of Jesus. And look at what these uh, disciples, Look at what these believers did. Soon as that attack came around, Peter and John, it says, and, and when they prayed, they began to gather together in a united voice around the men of God that were out there in the front line. Amen. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do in our churches. Be gathering around those that are ministering the word, surrounding them in prayer, focusing on them and praying for them. And I love this. It says, and when they prayed, the place in which they assembled was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they continued to speak the word of God with freedom, with boldness and with courage. Church, when you begin to come together to pray, God begins to fill us afresh in Jesus' name. In the Passion Bible, well, it says, at that moment, what moment? When they gathered to pray, the earth shook beneath them, causing the building they were in to tremble. And each one of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and they continued to proclaim the word of God with unrestrained boldness. Do you know, as I was reading that, I said, God, at the moment they prayed, the very earth beneath them shook. Well, I'm telling you, church, tonight, when we pray, the devil shakes and the earth around him begins to shake. That's why he doesn't want you to pray because you're dislodging his works in the earth. You're, you're 
building things in the spirit uh, and building around that man, that woman of God that is that, that arrow bringing that word. You're getting around them to stop those works. And instead of us shaking and trembling because he's coming at us, we're making the earth beneath him shake and tremble in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah, church. Glory, glory, glory. You see, as they were praying, something was happening. You know, I said it's twofold. Prayer is going out and prayer is doing something in you. Remember, as they prayed, the Bible says as their fervent prayer, as they began to pray, power came. The Holy Spirit came. What did he do? He filled them with boldness. He filled them with boldness. Signs and wonders began to follow. And, and the, there was a confirming constantly of the word of God that they were preaching everywhere they preached. Do you know, this is a wonderful scripture for, for us, for, for everyone, but for, for the churches to start unifying, getting in there and beginning to pray. God, we're praying. We're going to give 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you can give. You're saying, okay, the whole of February, I'm giving 15 minutes to praying for my church every single day, praying for my man or my woman of God and praying for them and believing, Father, that my church is going to see signs and wonders and miracles and healings that when people come in those doors, they experience the presence and the power of a living God in that house in Jesus' name. And that, Father, that any chain, any restriction, any depression that's on their lives will drop off them in the name of Jesus. You know, when they started praying for Peter and he was in jail, those chains fell off them. Well, that's what we want to happen when people walk in our churches. We want the chains of depression, the chains of oppression, the chains of arthritis, the chains of cancer, the chains of liver problems, the chains of migraines to call, come straight off them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're praying that when they walk in and our pastor preaches the word, that there's illumination in the hearts of the people, illumination, impartation into their hearts, that Lord, they're not leaving our churches and our services the same way they came. Oh, we thank you, Father, that the hell is shook off their lives, that hell is shook off their marriages in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. We need to be fervent. We need to be passionate. We can't be passive about this. This is not a, a, a worldly conference that you go to on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You're going into church, geez, people, and Jesus is in the house to do work in the house. We're going into church where the supernatural power of God is loosed and released to set the captives free in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and as we come in, you know, I was sharing with our praise and worship team on Sunday morning as we come in and just like God did with Jehoshaphat, he said, I'm sending out the praises first ahead of the army. You know, as those praises get out, it confuses as we begin to praise God, to worship God. It confuses the enemy. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, that as those praises go up, as that worship goes up, the glory of God comes down in the house of God in Jesus' name. I'm very expectant that we're going to experience signs and wonders and miracles and, and, and that there's going to be a healing revival through the earth, that we're going to begin to experience that. I really believe that's what we're going to see, a healing revival. Glory be to God. Fervent prayer. Hallelujah. You know, prayer opens the believers to receive the boldness of the Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. Which is causing us to speak boldly, to speak confidently God's word. And Lord, you know, you might be thinking, well, you talking about witnessing, that can be a part of it. But speaking boldly and confidently that word over your own life, over your children, not constantly being anxious over them, but being bold and speaking the word of God over their life and expecting God to confirm the word with signs following in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Acts 6 and verse 7, it says, And the word of God increased. We want the word of God to increase in people's lives. We want the word of God spoken in our families, spoken in our church, spoken out to people outside for that word to increase in their lives in Jesus' name. It says, And the word of God increased, and the numbers of disciples, multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Well, we want the word of God to increase in our church. We want the numbers of disciples to multiply greatly in Jesus' name. And what a portion of scripture to be praying over your church praying over your children's ministry. We want the word of God to increase and the numbers of children to multiply greatly in Jesus' name. In our youth meetings, hallelujah, we want the word of God to increase and the numbers of people being healed greatly in our healing meetings in Jesus' name. And, you know, I was going over this scripture this morning from Acts 19, verse 20, and it really stuck in my heart. It says, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. We've got to give that word every opportunity to grow on the inside of us so that we are effective in our prayer life. You know, it's the word that God confirms when we pray. But it says something, listen to what it says, so mightily grew the word of God. Well, whatever you're putting it in for, healing, prosperity, whatever, that we want it to grow, but we want it to prevail. Isn't that what you wanted to do? To prevail mightily. What over cancer, over arthritis, over poverty, over lack. So mightily grew the word and prevailed over the hearts and the lives of our children prevail over the things that are coming against us. You see, as we pray, God will give you words to speak by the Holy Ghost. Words will come up. Do you know sometimes for me, it's a song that comes up and inside as I begin to listen to what I'm singing, there is a, a word, there's something there that God wants me to focus on and to bring forth that morning or he'll give you a, a, a scripture you go to and that word is to be spoken out over the situation, over the circumstance and allowing that word to pre prevail. Glory be to God. You know, that word prevail in the Greek, listen to what it means. It means to dominate. What about that? It's going to dominate over cancer, over arthritis, over depression, over oppression. It's going to dominate over, over your children because they're the seed of the righteous. They get to get delivered. Amen. It means to win, to obtain. And, and, and in the dictionary, that word prevail means to gain ascendancy. So it gains ascendancy over the situations, over the circumstances that we pray over in life. It means to triumph. And I love this, what else it means. I really like this. It means to have influence. That, that his word is going to have influence over the hearts of our children, over, the, over that, that cancer, over that situation, over that circumstance, his word is going to have an influence over it. So in prayer, as we begin to seek God, the Holy Spirit will give you that. 
as we begin to pray, that word that he puts our focus on will have an influence. That word influence means to have an important effect upon something. It's going to have an effect. And remember what the Bible says, the entrance of the word brings light. And light's powerful because it illuminates the heart. It begins to overpower, have an influence over any dark areas in people's lives. In Jesus' name. And remember Hebrews 4 says the word of God is alive. It's active, it's quick, it's powerful. So in saying all this, what really are we saying? We're saying it's so important that you fuel your prayer time with the word of God. I can't it tell you that enough how important it is to feed in God's word, to feed. You know, Pastor was sharing that on Sunday, how important it is to feed in the word. You know, if you haven't had an opportunity to hear what he ministered on on Sunday morning, please go to Raymond Melbourne online and read the last two or three, uh, listen to the last two or three weeks that he's been ministering on that because it's a wonderful teaching to cause us to be steadfast in our lives, steadfast in that word, steadfast in our walk. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So spending time in God's word is the fuel. You see, it, you've got to have something in there so that when we begin to pray, the Holy Ghost has got something to begin to work with in our lives. Glory to God. John 15 verse 7, if you abide in me and my word abides and lives and takes up residence in you, you will ask what you will and it shall be done for you. You see, a huge part of our prayer is time too in the word that you go into prayer with your word of God. You, you know, we come to prayer with the word because as we're praying, he, he may be speaking to you. Go to that scripture, go to this scripture be so that that word can come forth because the word of God is the will of God in every situation, amen? So where we're looking for his will, we're looking for that word, hallelujah. You know, in Ephesians 6 and verse 17, let's go there and have a look at it. And then let's, let's pray a little bit, hey? Ephesians chapter 6. In verse, where are we? 6. It says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of that is that sorry and the sword that the spirit wields which is the word of god and pray at all times glory be to god so we take his word and we pray again if you abide in me and my words abide in you you can ask what you will and it shall be done for you but you remember each time we step out in prayer we step out in faith. Amen. We believe that when we pray that we receive in the name of Jesus. Hebrews 10 says God is faithful to his word and that we're not moved by the circumstances. We begin to believe that those circumstances are going to be moved out the way of people's lives, moved out of nations. And, and you know, as I was Looking over my notes, this is what came to my heart, that when you begin to pray, Eileen, my hand is not too short that it cannot save. And I know that God wants to do such a work through each one of us as we pray individually and when we come together to pray corporately in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight. We do, we honor you. We lift up our hands to you, Father, and we praise you. 
we give you all the glory. And right now, Father, we yield ourselves yes, to the Holy Spirit. Oh. Come, Holy yes. Spirit, fall Come afresh on, on, on us. Fill us with your power. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, come, Holy Spirit. Meti asuma. We yield to you. We acknowledge you, Spirit yes. of the living God. Fall afresh on us. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on us. We praise you. We yield in ourself to you. We hear that his will will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for God in us, guiding us in the name of Jesus. Let's all of us begin to pray in the Spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pusia Alo in Sune in Kunanana Masono na Anko Petita na Masono Petita na Masono Patita na Masone into Mehin Kuna Masone Neneme City On Tone Neneme Sia Yama On Tone Neneme Sia Kenamanoku Brenanana Masone Neneme City Impo Anonene Sia Yama Mano ke gishno manuko, antone impo tamasoto, insone impo, antone ne me sike na manuke insona ma, alo 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 kana masone impo ti impo siya, onta na 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 masone inko na masoto, rana na na masi inko, alu kuni impo tana masono. Alo kone entu ni imputiti ima O la 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 maso Ilu kine ne misi ayama nuku kushono ma Alo ensu ne 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 misi kena manuku Prega na maso na na maso tu Uti in, uti ni hin Uti ti in Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Holy Spirit. Fall afresh. Fall afresh. Fall afresh on us. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come and fall afresh. Riatio supa, nyaha suparato, elekeshi, arabako, rapako reke. Oh, Father. Father, we adore you. Oh, yes, we bow down before you. Father, we adore you. Yes. We lay our lives before you. Oh, so see, he see, he can am Masono ne. Oh Lord, in the intone I I keep getting that, Father. I I believe it. You will. Mene ne ne Messia. It keeps staring in my heart. Oh, ne 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 Messia. Do you know what's been so strong? Keep coming up, and I just wanted to make sure it was from the Holy Ghost that we need to be praying over this vaccine 
that's coming into our nation. Mm. It's going to be a, given to, to people because we need to pray for the wisdom of God over those making decisions over it. We need to pray for wisdom over those that are handling it and, and injecting it into people's lives, Father. And so we are, we are calling on your wisdom, Father. Yes, Father. And I'm so thankful Thank that our God. Prime Minister so didn't rush into this. He's made that statement several times that he didn't wow. have a need to rush into it mm. and, and that he wanted to take time with it mm. because he was mindful of the people, Father, who would yeah. be receiving it. And we ask for that wisdom. We thank you that you've guarded him and guided him and given him that wisdom. And even though he's been ridiculed, Father, for being what they say too slow, we believe he's been in the wisdom of God. That there hasn't been anything too hasty in this, in Jesus' name. And we're calling on you, Father. Yes. We're calling on you calling before on you, even the first vaccine is given to any people in our nation in Jesus' name. Father, we're Father. calling on the wisdom of God <laughs> in the guarding <laughs> of it, the manufacturing of it, mm. the de <laughs> delivery of it, <laughs> the handling of it, yeah. the importing of it <laughs> into <laughs> injections <laughs> to be given to people. Father, these, this vaccine is going to be injected into the people in our land. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that there'll be no side effects. Yes, no side effects. No side effects over this in Jesus' name. We pray that. No false effects. In the name of Pregagishan o mano ne imposima, on tona nana masoto, non tikin, no side effects. O tena masote ne mesiti, in kona masote ne mesita, pregana masone ne ne mesia. We're seeking first the kingdom, we're seeking first the wisdom, we're seeking first now, and we're bringing the name of Jesus over. Over this vaccine. We're pleading the blood of Jesus yes, over it, Father, yes, Father. in Jesus' in name. Jesus oh, Tanama. Oh, and we're pleading the blood of Jesus blood. over those the that are manufacturing it, over oh, those oh, that are yeah. handling it, yes. over those, yes. Father, that will be yes. injecting it into yes, people's Father. lives yes. in Jesus' in name. Yes. This is not we a light thing. You, this is not a light yes, thing, Father. Not. No. O tana ma sota me insone ne me sike na manuko brana na ma sone enko ma ansone ne me siti ima o ne enko na ma soto brega gishenoma that there's not going to be any side effects. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood over it. We plead the blood of the carrying of it, the injecting of it in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Father. We praise you for it, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Me inso, me inso, me inko na na ma sota na ma soto. Yes. Wisdom in the application. Yes. We agree with that. Apply it yes. into people's bodies, Father God. Yes. We pray for your protection. Yes, Father. Over each and every, every person who receives it, Father God. Ma sone ne 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 mi sia. Ma no ke kisha shonoma. Even now, Holy Spirit, as you go forth to prepare the way, prepare the people. Oh, that it's handled with care 
It's handled in wisdom. It's handled, Father, well in Jesus' name. Untanana masone ne 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 misia ano ke kishono ma no ke kishono ma ento ne 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 misia yama unti ne inko na masoto ana na 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 masone ne ne misi ke na manuku prega na masono no 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 ma ento ne 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 misi ke na manuku. Father, that everything about it is handled with extreme care, extreme priority, because it's being injected into people. And Father, we thank you for it. We call on you. We're making a call on you over it. In the name of Jesus, before the first injection, we're calling on you. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for your wisdom, for your protection, in the name of Jesus. In Konama Soto, Prekesia, preparing the way, preparing the way, clearing out every obstacle, every hindrance. Oh, Nananama, and Son and Enemia, and Ton and Emesia, that it's only going to be placed into the care of those that will have extreme care and extreme wisdom over it, Father. Oh, Ton and Enemesia. Ma nuku, Braga nuku, Braga na masona na na mesiti, inkona na masono noma, Braga na masota na mesia, ano na mesi ke na manuku, Braga kishono manuke kishono ma, enso na na mesi ke na manuku, Braga na masona na na masoto, ano ke kishono ma, onto na na mesia. Father, our Prime Minister is declaring that it's ready for use. But we're seeking you, Father, that it's ready for use. We're seeking you that everything that's been done has been done accurately, been done well, been done, Father, uh, so that it's a blessing to people and not a hindrance to their lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh, son enemy. Sia, brana na masone inko na masoto me insone ne mi si ke na manuku prega na masona entone ne mi si ke na manuku prega gishenoma that every step is a step in your wisdom every step father ontona masoto enko na masoto me insone ne mi sia you know all things father you know all things, that if there's anything that's out of place that you stop it, you stop it, you stop it in the name of Jesus, that it will be hindered. That we're bringing it before you. We're bringing it before you, Father. Or to prepare the way, committing everything and every person around it. Unto ne mesia, amanoke kishono manuka, me insone impoti ima, anone ne ne mesia yama, alukuni impuna masoto, prega gashono manuke kishono ma, onsone ne mesike na manone, antone impu me hinso. Me hinso, me hinso, me hinso. We're the voice of one crying. Prepare the way for this. We're preparing the way for it, Father. Preparing, preparing in Jesus' name. Or that there's a supernatural protection over this. Yes. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, for even different ones that are preparing vaccines, that nothing's done as a race, that it's done in grace, it's done in wisdom, in the name of Jesus. That there's not a competing for the race, but Father, it's to complete people's lives, to touch their lives, that it's going to be injected into their lives. So we call on you. We yes. call on yes, you, Father, on in you, the Father. name of Jesus. On Tona Nama, and Sone Messike Nama Nuku, Brana Nama Sono. We're calling on you for no, no, no. other nations no, no, no. that right now no, no, no. are injecting no, no. it into the people That's in the United it. Kingdom, yes. in the United yes. States, the world, in Israel, Father, in all right. the places yes. that, Father, Israel. they're using it. US. We're calling on the wisdom Europe. of God. Ah, that these companies are taking great care in the preparation, great care in the application in Jesus' name. And it's not about the first one to win the race, it's about people's lives in Jesus' name. In Tona Masoto, in Cone Messia, or in To, me in Sonene Messititi Ima, Anonana Masona Nemesica, on Tonene Messititi Ima, on Anana Masona Ma, Antonene Messicana Manuku, Brega Gishanoma, Alo in Sonana Masono, in Conama, we caught it in poor, we caught it in poor. Oh, we caught it in to in part and tone me city in court as it makes an entry into our land father no in so it doesn't disturb life it enhances it it enhances it in the name of Jesus unto enkona masoto me intone enkona masote inkuni importi import anto the importing of it the importing of it the importing of it or to ten and the transporting and the transporting on to them as sort of in corner import it to import and to an enemy seeking a manuka and to an amassot taking charge over them father glory yes protecting them and keeping them in Trakas <laughs> Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. We praise you. We praise you, Father. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you for the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over Australia, the blood of Jesus over our states, our territories, keeping us safe. Oh, the blood, the blood flooding, flooding our states, blood washed, blood protected, every state, every territory. Oh, Tanama, and as our children are going back to school, School. We call the schools blood washed, blood protected in the name of Jesus. Every student, every teacher, every administrator. Oh, we thank you for it, Father. Me in so, me in so nama soto, brana masona nama, on to nama soto, me in konama soto, in konama sititi ima, oh nama soto, protecting the schools. 
protecting the students, protecting the teachers, the administrators. We call on you, Father. We call on you. Protecting us. Protecting us. Oh, Lord. And we stand with the United States of America. We stand with the United Kingdom. Oh, Father, for a turnaround in these nations. A turnaround. Oh, let in sona nama soto. Lord, let us never treat this lightly. The people have been losing their lives. We're praying for a supernatural turnaround and we're calling on a supernatural God to supernaturally intervene in America, intervene in the United States, intervene in the United Kingdom in the name of Jesus. Oh, Tonama, we're calling on the healer we're calling on the deliverer we're calling on you in Jesus name oh Tonama healing healing yes we, we say declare that by the stripes of Jesus that you are healed. Be ye healed even now as we pray. As we pray, the Spirit of God is moving. The anointing is moving upon your body, touching your body, ministering to your body, even right now. Just reach out, touch, believe, and receive right now the healing anointing that will set you free and deliver you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, we pray that by the stripes of Jesus that you are healed. Be thou healed now. 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 Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, Father, preparing the way. Yes. Clearing out the obstacles, mm. the hindrances, yes. making a straight pathway ah, right the way that through that in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, we what call a good on God. you, Father. What a great God. Hallelujah. Oh, Christ, you are the healer. Your mercy. You're the deliverer. Yes. You're mercy. the God who hears our prayers. Good to the tea. God who oh. answers our prayers. Yes, you are. We thank you for that. Oh, yeah, so. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for the glory. The glory is here. Thank you, Lord. The glory is here. I can see his very presence in the atmosphere. In his very atmosphere. Oh, the glory. The glory is the here. Glory. The glory is, is here. here. Yes. We can sense his very presence <sighs> in the atmosphere. Thank you, Father. Konamasonenemesiyama. God. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God. You're so good. Hallelujah. God, you're so good. You're so good to me. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good, you're so good to me. You're so good to us, Father God. Yes, you are. 
You're so good. You're good to Australia. Castle. You're good to the United States of America. You're good to the United Kingdom, to New Zealand. Father, we call these places out before you, to France. You're so good, Father. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Oh, we praise you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just take, just take a minute right now and begin to praise him. In everything through prayer with thanksgiving. So let's just praise him and thank him. Thank you, Hallelujah. Father. Thank oh, you, Father. Thank you. thank you for today. You are so good. Thank you. You thank are you. so good. Lord, that you are a mighty God. A you are so God. faithful. A God of mercy. A you God are. of compassion. We praise faithful you. Faithful and true. We praise you. What a mighty praise God we serve. What a mighty God. Oh, we worship you. Praise we lift you. our hands. Yes, we, we do. We lift our voice. For you are worthy, worthy, Hallelujah. worthy to receive all our prayers. We thank you, praise. We thank praise you, we thank you. Praise you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. That you've heard yes. and answered our prayers. Yes. That you've, we thank you that you've used us to be able to stand in the gap, to be able to stand and pray. Hallelujah. And declare your will and your plans and your purposes in the earth, Father. We thank you for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah. I have a word the Lord has given me as we close tonight for you. And he said this to my heart. Learn to praise and lift your hands. And you will see the enemy flee. For he cannot stand the praises of the God's people. My word declares that I will come and dwell and abide in the praises of my people. So lift your hands to me and start to praise me. For you will indeed see manifestations of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we do. We praise the Lord of the breakthrough. And so we lift our hands to you and magnify you and bring to you the praise, the praise, the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us again tonight. I, I felt that that was really important for us, the way it kept coming up in my heart. So praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I extend my faith to everyone that's joined us in prayer tonight. Father, we thank you that your goodness and your mercy follows them and their families every single day of their lives. We thank you for your, your word working mightily in them, that as they're speaking that word, that it's prevailing over any situation, any circumstance that has confronted their lives in Jesus' name. So we honor you for each and every one of them and their supply in prayer tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, as we close, I just want to remind you of the healing meeting. It's the first Wednesday of every month and it's, it will be online the 3rd of February. Glory be to God. We want to remind you of the... the the Eagles Prayer every single week at 7.30 and we look forward to you joining us. Have a wonderful rest tonight and remember to join us at 10 a.m. live if you can come to Raymond Doncaster 
and 6 p.m. Rayma Mill Park and Rayma Melbourne Online at 10 a.m. Have a blessed rest and remember that God loves you. Shall renew their strength